Welcome to Washington, D.C. We're just blocks away from the U.S. Capitol building at the Museum, a building dedicated to the principle of free speech. Inside the Knight Studio, just like you, we've all watched the film Free Trip to Egypt. And we have a wonderful group of thought leaders to discuss the film and how to bring more listening and kindness to the world. This movie, I hope, will be in every school across the world because this really is the, the cliche, we are all one, it shows you that in Technicolor. The first thing we do to create a bridge is to listen. It's really uh, saying everything about what's happening in this country and it is we have a divide right now. We have a very strong divide. You have people over here and you have people over here and they're unable to talk to each other. And it's about getting people talking. The challenge is um, that over the last, you know, decade to two decades, we've been moving apart from each other. People used to be more together and have more common uh, direction. And people have slowly moved across, you know, whether it's economic or political divides. And where we used to have a lot of common ground between the left and the right, now you're seeing a lot more divide and the margins are so thin that everybody in the political campaigns are looking to influence that two to five percent. And they're looking for ways to go negative against their opponents and how do you win? And unless we have a dialogue, things will get worse. Conflict is healthy. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is how change, dialogue comes about. I think it's really about getting beyond the us versus them mentality. That's how you can accept differences, but also, I think, achieve a common cause. The key is I don't have to convert you. I actually, the job is converting myself because change is an inside job. Mm. And, and the less mature we are, we always want to change the person outside. It's through deep listening that you actually create empathy. And it is through empathy that you are able to create compassion and forgiveness and peace building and a connection. I love the pledge to listen. Listening for me implies attributing deep meaning and a deeper interpretation. But I think what happens for the most part is we forget to uh, really listen for meaning. Instead, we're listening for agreement. And if we could just focus on our shared humanity, hmm. because when we come from the shared humanity, it isn't about our ideals, our thoughts. It's really about what makes us human. We probably differ in, uh, in opinions on some. Probably. But I would probably enjoy talking to sure. you sometimes exactly. more than somebody with the exact belief yeah, yeah. because I learn more. Right. And we can learn from each other. And you walk out that much smarter and can be that much better right. because of that. Compassion means shared suffering. And that's where I think a deeper connection comes. We're all human beings. and We've all suffered and we've all had great joy. And we don't know until we do pledge to listen. Civility is a mindset. It's a way of thinking and a way of being. Uh, something that drives our decision-making and influences the way we treat people. When you choose civility, you learn pretty quickly that respect is something that each individual is deserving of just because we're human and on the planet. Everything that we're seeing in front of us is a mirror. If I see someone who's hateful and divisive in front of me, I have a chance to be loving and kind and understanding and a listener and learn their story. If I learn their story, I'll probably understand why they're hateful. And so I can meet that with a different energy and it breaks. But if I meet it with the same energy, you know, it calls me an a-hole and exactly. I call you an a-hole and we're all trapped <laughs> in the same thing. We don't realize we're looking in the mirror. Now the stories shared in this film during the trip to Egypt where a group of Americans overcame fears and prejudices and found mutual understanding with people from a different culture and with different views. Really, no matter where we come from, no matter who we are, what we believe, we can and should treat each other with respect. We're all connected. I've served as a soldier in the Army National Guard for over 16 years. I've deployed twice to the Middle East, where I had the honor of serving with people of every race, religion, orientation, and creed. And what was clear to us serving in that combat zone was that we stood as one, united in our mission of service. I encourage you uh, to reach out to someone who you may disagree with, have an honest and real conversation based on mutual respect. And I think you'll be really amazed to see what truly binds us all together. So, you know, the pledge to listen and the, a pledge to look. I think what happens on social media 
is all performance. It's not the real person. What happens on lots of media is performance and not the real person. But what you saw in the film, I think, was the real people. Right before coming up, um, I thought of the word salam alaikum, shalom, hallelujah, hello, om shanti. And what I felt is that if I deeply heard the energy of just those greetings, it just connected me to another person. There's a philosopher, uh, uh, Emmanuel Levinas, and he had a philosophy called the philosophy of the face. And he said if you could really see another human being's face, not their labels, but their face, you'd see the divine. Mm. And you would feel commanded from within to do no harm. Mm. The power of the film was watching people look mm. uh, and, and being transformed by what they saw in one another. So I think that what Free Trip to Egypt did for me and for so many of us that have already yeah. been talking about it is that it gave us the permission to let go these attachments to limited views of ourselves. And I'm hoping that as we pledge to listen deeper, that we will be able to come together.